Sir, you want me to? No, we can direct the chat. All right. If you're ready, just switch on the camera. You guys mind turning your camera on just for a second? Hello. Mm -hmm. Good in air. Hi, Maggie. Nice to see you again. Good morning. Good morning. Getting everybody back again. That's great. I like it. Uh -oh. Okay, we can start, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, so we are doing EQ 101 again. We are yesterday we did awareness because we got to be aware of everything first. And then today we are doing acceptance because right after we're aware of it, we got to accept things and we will talk at great length about that. Um, it's really, really important. And it's just takes a second when you get good at it, but there's a lot to it. There's a lot more to it than you'd imagine, <laughs> I think. Um, so, so, um, any feedback or any thing anybody wants to share about yesterday about being more aware or things you were aware of or, um, anything to do with awareness from yesterday? Okay. Um, I was being aware while I was putting this together, being aware of how many things we've got to accept. <laughs> so so uh, one of the things we're going to do today is kind of brainstorm a little bit about what, uh, about acceptance and all the things we can and maybe should or could, could, we'll put it, I could, I don't like shoulds that much. The shoulds mean shoulds are somebody else's assumption of how you're supposed to live your life. And that a lot of times that doesn't work very well. Um, and we sometimes end up living on shoulds that are in our head that we don't even agree with. Say we're our parents' shoulds or somebody else's shoulds, and we don't even agree with them. So um, I'm not a big fan of shoulds. <laughs> Let's say could, which makes it a possibility and it makes it up to us, right? So um, I'm going to share my screen and we'll start um, get started. We're going to get you guys involved pretty quickly. Um, so, uh, again, trying to find it on the screen to share it with you. Where is it? Darn. Um, I have the PowerPoint open. I go, I want to share. I'm trying to say which screen to share and it's not available. There it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here we go. All right. Day two, acceptance. Some of the goals for today are we're going to discuss the critical role of acceptance in our happiness, well-being, EQ, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to help identify what we can and might accept, all right, not not should, but could. Um, we're gonna, this is some things are inside of us and some things are outside of us. Um, we're gonna get better, hopefully, at accepting things quickly, powerfully, and completely. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's, it's important. And then, um, hoping that we can, um, Find some peace and acceptance. That's the goal of all of this, right? So um, let's go to, um, come on. Today, oh, we already said yesterday was awareness, today's acceptance, tomorrow we're doing action. All right, so we're going back to um, identifying, this is about awareness first, right? We're always about awareness first um, and we're gonna do a quick check-in. So if you would, um, identify what you're feeling, what you're feeling right now. Okay. What are you feeling right now? And I'm leaving this up for a second. If you want to look at it, um, it gives a lot of suggestions or ideas or words that you can use. Maybe you can um, pick a couple of them. You can certainly feel more than one thing at a time, which makes it interesting, <laughs> but you can. Um, so, yeah, kind of so, 
So let's go into the breakout rooms again real quick and we'll share a little bit. We're looking for what are you thinking? Same as yesterday. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What are you doing? Remember TFA, thoughts, feelings, actions. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? And what are you doing? All right. Um, so let's try this for um, five minutes. Um, I think, no, go ahead. We'll do, um, we have make nine rooms all right and they will you'll have different partner than yesterday and we'll do um we'll do five minutes what are you thinking what are you feeling what are you doing okay awareness first all right here we go Uh, Sunako Mayor, we are um, we are doing a breakout room right now. Uh, we're doing what are you thinking, what are you feeling, and what are you doing? We're just sharing that. And so I will assign you into a room. Um, um, we didn't see right now. Okay. Bye. Good luck. Uh, Sacred Heart, you don't want to go in the room. It's okay. Just you can stay here and share with me if you like. Chandrakala, you, yeah.
Okay, everybody's coming back. Thank you. Hello. Yes. So, does anybody does anybody have anything they'd like to share about what they realized or what they were thinking and feeling? Anybody want to share a little bit about what they thinking and feeling? Yeah. And I was. Uh... Jensen, yeah, I, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I was with uh, so he was saying his experience in his uh, uh, office today. Uh, he is working in uh, with some uh, you know uh, different language uh, people. So like uh, it's really hard for him to cope up with them. Uh, they may not understand what he is speaking. So he has uh, previously he was a uh, little harsh towards them, but yesterday after the class. Uh, today morning he decided uh, that consciously he tried to change the strategy. Instead of becoming so much harsh, he become little soft. So that's what he told me today. So he got a very surprised feeling from his uh, subordinates. Yep. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, that's what he told. Me. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we can just adjust a little bit in our heads and it changes or change our strategy. That's another thing. I like that word strategy. What, how are you going to handle this? What do you, what's your plan? Uh, what are you going to do about this? What are you going to do with it? Um, yeah, that's good. Also, just, shall, I, shall, um, I add, just shall I add? Yes, okay. yes. Go ahead. I became more aware of the emotional emotions I have. So I was a little bit conscious about my emotions. So I try to control the emotions. Surprisingly, I uh, just shared with the agency, madam. Uh, they didn't nice. tell anything, but from their face expressions, I could feel some difference. That's all. Yeah. Thank you for the awareness. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> nice. And so it sounds like you not only were are more aware of them, but you also accepted them right away. You accepted them, only takes a second, right? But you just like, oh, okay. That's what I'm feeling, right? That's it's not that much harder than that, but it's sometimes we fight it a lot. So good job, well done, beautiful, good example. So again, and here, thank you, ahead. you both, uh, Jen sir and Mansur. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mansur, may I talk a few words? Yes, yes, continue. Did you want to say? Go ahead. Would you like to say, Doctor? Plan answer. Plan answer continue. Sir, really, I can control my anchor. I control my anchor. I'm sorry, what? Say it again, please. Uh, Joginder, did you want to, did you have your hand raised? Would you like to talk? Yeah. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There we go. Right yeah. now. Oh, it's me. I'm sorry. Uh, I was not okay. able. Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, continue. Oh, okay. Now you are. Okay, sorry, sorry. Um, I was not able to uh, speak uh, before with my partner, and uh, no. oh, the reason is my my uh, computer was not uh, functioning as well, so I was frustrated. No. It happened right at that moment, so I was quite oh. frustrated, and I was feeling really, really sad. Action I took. Oh. I woke up my son. He was sleeping, and I stole his iPad. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. now I do. All right. I, I, so I'm learning how to use. I do not know how to use. And I was feeling uncomfortable okay. when I turn off my video. But I feel good. Now I can see, I can interact with everybody. 
Okay. Thank you. And, Thank and you. good morning, good. everyone. Very good. good Very good. Yeah. So you're this Bellwinder, right? Not Joe. Not no. Uh, this he, your son's he's name. My, yeah, he's my dad. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Okay. Cool. Well, good job. So I wanted to talk about um, the difference between what are you going to do about a problem. And what are you going to do with it? Those are different. Those are very different. And what you did, which is a good example, okay, I got a problem. What am I going to do about it? And so you took action. You went and woke up your son and took his iPad. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and that was a good solution. So that is what you do about it. That's an action, right? What do you do with it is a different story, right? That what you do with it is what when something happens inside of us, we have a thought and a feeling about it. What are we going to do with that information? Not about the problem, but with it, inside of us. About is usually outside, with is inside. And so you said you felt sad. You switched it to, okay, I'm going to make something happen about this. I'm going to take some action. And, and then you were able to adjust your sad to happier, right? So you did something about it and with it at the same time. I just wanted to talk about that differentiation because it's important. Go ahead, Bellwinder. Were you going to oh, say something uh, else about it? Yeah, okay. Um, you asked uh, uh, about awareness before. On Monday, I yeah. was admitted into hospital uh, due to uh, my stomach flu. So I became aware uh, it is my mistake because I am not aware what type of food I'm putting in my body. So I printed wow. your worksheet where we, we document what happened, why, why it happened, what happened, why it happened, and what can I do that to, to stop it, to prevent it further. So mm -hmm. I became more aware yeah. and my action is from now on, I will be very careful what type of food I'm putting in my body. So that's the biggest nice. awareness. Well done. Thank that's you. It's a big deal. And that's acceptance and action all at the same time. You're doing all three. So well done. Well done. Thank you. Good example. All right. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Um, so we are, I'm going back to my PowerPoint and, um, Let's talk about, um, we were way up here, here. Okay, so the problem is that we tend to fight things. We tend to deny and ignore and miss opportunities of things to accept. Um, one of the things, um, I, one of my own pet peeves that's kind of related to this is that people like to be right. People like to be right so much. They sometimes will make decisions or have issues in their lives and they kind of glom onto them and become part of the problem. And they um, end up uh, arguing for their limitations, we call it, arguing for their limitations, saying, I can't do this. I couldn't possibly do that. This is, this is too hard. It's too much, blah, blah, blah. And we are basically arguing that, that I can't instead of figuring out how to, we're trying to explain how we cannot. And that's, um, I, don't, I don't care for that. That's an acceptance uh, thing. That what we're trying to do is to allow and affirm, and I looked up these um, synonyms for, for um, release, let go, receive, embrace. Those are all cool things that have to do with acceptance adopting, integrating. Integrating is a cool one. Um, uh, Bellwinder's um, example of eating better is you're integrating your emotional intelligence into your life, right? You took something that you were became aware of. It was an emotional thing. And then you made figured out a solution and then adopted that solution and integrated that into your life. So accepting things is the first step to getting, to making changes, to making real changes. Um, so that's why we're talking about it today. The opposite, or not the opposite, but another part of that, I guess, is maybe you get your guys' opinion on this, is that is enduring or tolerating or swallowing. Those are still accepting, but they're not accepting with a happy, with a smile on our face, right? They're 
they're like, all right, uh, right. Even even eating well, um, in your example, could be, uh, all right, damn it, I don't really want to. Um, it's it's it, annoying. It's more fun to be able to eat whatever I want to and be completely free and eat as much as I want anytime I want. But all right, if I got to be careful or I've got to start being more aware and accepting that um, that I do need to eat right, then all right, <laughs> all right, I'll tolerate it. I'll swallow less, <laughs> I'll swallow um, more, <laughs> different kind of swallow, um, swallow uh, the, accept that, it, that, that it's a possibility or that it's something that I got to do. So there's allowing and releasing and letting go kind of thing that is um, that is a happy, joyous thing. Sometimes it can be, or sometimes I'm like, all right, well, I guess that's how it's got to be. Like example, um, the other day, my car broke and the transmission's completely gone. If I put it in drive or first or second or reverse, it all does nothing, <laughs> no movement whatsoever, nothing. And so I got to accept that that's how it is. So what am I going to do about it? That's a different question. But first is like, okay, this, that's, this is how it is. Yesterday it worked. The next day it doesn't work anymore. And so I got a problem. I didn't have a problem. Now I got a problem. And so I'm accepting that. So what it, we're trying to do is to figure out how to respond to our life rather than reacting, right? I can react and get really upset and I can be as mad as I want. But my car's still not going to work. <laughs> it's still not going to work, uh, no matter how upset I get. So I can react as much as I want to to this problem, or or I can respond to it, which means I use some sense, I use some emotion, I put some thought into it. All right, well, logically, what am I going to do? What do I feel like doing? What do I don't feel like doing? All kinds of things. But you're putting in the difference between responding and reacting is emotional intelligence. We are being smart about our response. What, what are we gonna do with this information? What are we gonna do about it, right? That's our response rather than just reacting. So respond, reacting is a habitual, automatic, not much consideration. Responding is intentional, purposeful with wisdom and feeling our mind and our heart together. Um, this, is, uh, this saying is uh, one at six seconds um, cool things about people drive performance and emotions drive people. So this all, all how we respond is based on our emotions, and that's why we're doing it is to do with emotional intelligence. So um, um, we got to get good at acceptance. Um, um, accepting there's a way to accept powerfully, and there's a way to accept like all right. I'm a victim. Oh yeah. Okay. This is how it's going to be. Poor me. Oh my goodness. You can do that if you want to, or you can go, okay. Uh, my car was done with its transmission. It doesn't want to work anymore. All right. What am I going to do about it? It's a 13 year old car. So, and it finally gave up and it's done. I could buy an, I can get a new one for $6,000 for a new transmission. There's a problem with parts in the United States. Big problem. Uh, used cars are skyrocketing in price, just like everything else, because there's no parts. People are just get, are, are getting what they can. And, uh, and so just like everything else, so I can accept that or I can whine about it. Either one. <laughs> Either one, it's up to me. So let's talk, let's brainstorm some ideas. What are things that are a good idea to accept? I'm accepting that my car is broken, all right? What I'm gonna put in the chat, I'm gonna stop sharing for a few, and I'm gonna put in the chat, let's make a list together of some of the things that we can accept in our life. So anybody wanna throw something out? Acceptance, what? What can we accept? So, um, so uh, Bellwinder accepted that um, I need to eat right, right? That's something you can accept. Um, my car is dead. <laughs> accept everything which you cannot control. Ooh, very good. And some things that we can control actually, right? I, can, I can't control that my car is broken, but I can do something about it. So everything we cannot control, that is a very good point um, that, um, that we need to differentiate what can we control, what, what can we not, what, what do we not have control over? Okay, so speaking of that, how about the weather? All right, that's something you can accept or you can be upset about it, right? You guys, I understand it's, there's a heat wave 
in India. And so you can be upset about it if you want to, or you can accept that. All right. For the next couple of days is what I need to do. Except COVID. my job is lost. Oh, sorry. Yep. COVID. Go ahead, Bowinder. COVID. You accept COVID. COVID. Right on. Yep. 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 You can you cannot accept it if you don't want to, but <laughs> it's still happening, right? Except my job. Sorry. That's, that's, Sorry? that's death of close friends. That failure. Okay, except friends. Okay, that's a good point. Except other people. Family, right? You got to accept um, our partner, our wife, husband, whatever, right? Except you have to kids. accept the economic situation, economic situation, inflation, price rise. Yep. Inflation. inflation. Yep. Health conditions. Inflation. Yep. What else? Health conditions. Health conditions. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. How about aging? <laughs> Aging. Aging. Yeah, we have to accept. Physical aging. Not anybody, here not, anybody here not aging? <laughs> I don't want to. Sir, we are physically aging. I'd like sir, to stay are, young and beautiful. We are physically aging, but not mentally. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, this is my mentor, Doc, that I mentioned all the time. I'm going to mention him a bunch more times. Said acceptance does not mean approval. For example, aging, this stuff where our bodies are not getting better, right? They're getting worse. And so you can, we can be upset about that if we want to, but it's still happening. So we don't have to like it. <laughs> we just got to accept it. Deal with it. What else? So yeah, body, Le body changes. Leaving this beautiful world. Leaving, did you say? Leaving this beautiful world, saying goodbye to the world. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. we're going to have to do that eventually. So <laughs> maybe sooner, maybe later, hopefully. But yeah, that's a, we don't that's a good want point. To. I've, um, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys that um, um, I have cancer also. And so um, I'm on chemo and immunotherapy and all that. And um, so I've had some experience with that. It's an interesting, interesting thing to go through is to face your own death and your own mortality. Um, and it's a, it's very enlightening. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I, I dig that one. Leaving or that. living? Living, living, yeah. living. I think she, I think she said leaving, right? Leaving, like bye, I'm leaving, or yeah. or leaving. Leaving, leaving, leaving. Yeah, okay. Saying goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Matt is yeah. Me. I have a doubt. I have a question here. Go ahead. Uh, acceptance does not need approval. Okay, is it uh, self or others? I need uh, just uh, uh, samples approval. Um, well, um, that's a, yeah, it's a good question. Um, for example, I'm getting older. My knees hurt. I'm slower. Um, I um, I um, we can't eat as much as I want to like I used to because I was so active. There's all kinds of things that I can accept that they're happening, and I don't have to like it. <laughs> <laughs> that means I don't have to approve of it. Uh, other people's actions is another big one like there are kids, for example. Um, I love my kids. And sometimes some of the things they do, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't think it's a good idea, but I can't stop it. I can't change them necessarily. It's something out of my control. And I accept that they're doing what they're doing. And I accept who they are. I don't have to like it. I don't have to approve of it. You see what I mean? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. You bet. You bet. It's a big difference because people know I won't accept that. And like, yeah, but Sarah, it's already happening. Doubt. You don't have to accept it if you don't want to, but it's, it's already uh, happening. So I suggest you figure out how. Excuse me, sir. Go ahead. One doubt. Sorry. Is it acceptance with mindfulness or acceptance with compulsory? Whatever. We are bound yeah. to accept it. Yep. 
So there could be some difference between mindful acceptance and deliberate. Uh, we have to accept it. What 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 might what might be the difference between those? Okay. I don't know the I don't know the different. Mindfulness just means that you're paying attention and you're watching and you're aware and you accept. I think aware, especially first, right? Um, like we talked about yesterday, that was all about mindfulness. Um, I'm not sure what is the difference. I'm not sure if I know the difference between mindfulness and acceptance. Seems like they're similar. Sir, we are accepting is... some things as they come. But yeah. we are accepting with some reluctance. We are bound to accept okay. it. So I just want okay. to know the difference between these two. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We have to, I don't know. Anybody else? I, I don't know the answer to that. Mindfulness is be present. Mindfulness is what? I'm sorry? Be present. Be present. Be present. No. Oh, being now. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Or sometimes we will willfully accept the things, or sometimes we have we have to accept it forcefully. That I just uh -huh. want to initially yeah, Sunil point of view. Yes, Sunil Kumar. Once we accept uh, things with reluctance, we may lose our peace. So yes, what yes, exactly. I'm uh, allowed to say that uh, just you accept it, but it's not necessary or to approve it. It depends your peace, your own peace. Am I right? Exactly. The but petrol price is increasing. We are accepting it. Is it will, with willfulness? We had to because we are owning a car or a bike. We have to uh, use it. We have choice. We have to uh, go, uh, go away with it. But is it accepted with the full willingness? Whereas mm. my, our spouse or our partner or a friend behaving indifferently, we can accept it with willingness. That's the difference I just okay. want to clarify. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, good point. So I want to talk a minute about the difference between have to and want to. This is a very big, uh, this is important, and I should have put this in here with acceptance. Have to and want to. If I have to do something, I'm not probably not very happy about it. A lot of times it's a feeling that um, when I'm being controlled or that the outside world is forcing me to do something I don't want to do, and I'm a victim and I'm unhappy about it. If I have to, if I choose to, however, for example, your your uh, example of going through the, it's more, costs more now. If you want to ride your bike or, or drive the car, it costs more now. I'm choosing to do it anyway. I can choose not to. I can choose not to. I almost always have a choice. If someone has a gun to your head and says, if you don't do this, I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot you. You still have a choice. It's not going to be a pretty, <laughs> pretty if you choose one, but you always, always, always have a choice in my opinion, or almost always, pretty much always. I don't know of any examples that you don't, but, but if we can switch it, if we can spin that a little bit and say, no, yes, it's more expensive. Yes, this is going to uh, drag. Yes, I'm unhappy about it and I'm going to do it anyway, I'm choosing to do it, then it puts me in charge of my life. Yeah? Sun yeah, Sunil Kumar, do you want to say some more? No, sir, exactly. Okay, all right. You explain all right, so, let's, yeah. Let's remember that difference between have to and want to. I'm going to put it in the chat. Because if we can choose things, um, then we are in control of ourselves. And I like to be able to choose. I like to be at choice. I like to have that freedom. Okay. All right. So that's an acceptance in accepting that I may be doing something because I want to, not because I have to. People go, oh, I got to go to work today. I hate that. I can't. I'm, I feel awful. I don't want to. I have to go to work. No, you don't have to go to work. You don't. You're choosing to go to work. If you choose, then go and, and quit complaining about it. But if you're choosing, you're choosing. And as opposed to, oh, man, you know, poor me and all that. So it, I think it makes a big difference. So let's go on. 
Um, so anything else we want to put into our brainstorming so, about um, about uh, what we can accept, what we can accept, what we need to accept, should accept, might accept? About how about um, I think we're learning about our thoughts and feelings. We're we're accepting that we have thoughts. We're accepting that we also have feelings. They're both real and they're both happening. How about uh, change? Just change in general. Uh, you can be, you know, you can uh, accept it or not as they go. Whenever things are going good. Um, some of the things I would like for you to accept are. Uh, let me go. I have a big list of them in my PowerPoint, so I'm going to go over to there. All right. It, actually, I didn't clean it up. I went off the screen. But these are, I was brainstorming myself of what some things that we we can or need to accept. Um, choices. Accept how important our emotions are. Wow. I guess that was important because I put it twice. All right important how important our emotions are that's one of my main points to this whole workshop is for you guys to have a, a um, better appreciation and understanding of how important our emotions are in our daily life or in our in our ability to do things our ability to be happy our ability to connect with people all that kind of stuff our emotions are way more important than we thought they were it certainly surprised me so and uh, here's a good one. All learning has an emotional base to it. All learning has an emotional base to help you accept your emotions. Uh, quick shout out to Lee. Hi, Lee. Howdy. Lee's on our team from the United States. All right. Nice to see you, Ben. Um, all right. Um, how important our relationships are. That's another thing. You guys, um, we, they did, they, this is a study that was done, that is still being done by Harvard University. It's 82 years they've been doing this study and they're, they're checking with people on, as they go out through their life, what is most important to you? What is working? What's so, what matters the most? What affects your happiness the most? That kind of thing. And they're finding one thing, one thing. Here it is right here. Good life is built around good relationships. So what we're accepting I hope is how important our relationships are, guys. This is really important. This is really important. And not only is it important to accept that how important relationships are, us humans like to be connected. It's also part of the emotional responsibility stuff I talked about yesterday, that we, it's on us. It's up to us. People are probably not gonna come to us, they may, they may, if you're lucky, they are come to you and stick with you, but probably you're going to have to go out. You're going to have to reach out. You're going to have to keep your friends close to you, your, your family close to you. You reach out to people that you haven't talked to for a while and keep the relationships going. Um, it turns out that according to this study that they've been doing for all this time for hundreds and hundreds of people, that the most important thing as they're on their deathbed is like, oh, I had wonderful relationships. I feel good about that. I feel solid about it. I'm sorry to leave people, but I feel complete in that department. The people that don't, didn't uh, feel, uh, wish they would have. They wish they would have, a lot of them. So um, I really want to emphasize that how important relationships are and that they're your problem. <laughs> they're your problem, not theirs. They're your problem uh, because it's it, it's your your deal. It's your relationships. It's your ability to connect that's at, at li online here. Um, so um, another thing is accepting that it's uncomfortable. A lot of this stuff is uncomfortable. If we accept how important our emotions are, we also need to accept that they can be very uncomfortable sometimes, correct? You guys ever had an uncomfortable feeling? <laughs> I sure have, a lot of them. And they're, it's going to get more uncomfortable as you dig deeper, especially if you work on that uh, event meaning feeling worksheet yesterday. You work more with that. You're going to be very uncomfortable. I guarantee it. If you're doing a good job, you're, you're, it's it's going to be uh, very squirmy. <laughs> So, um, so, but do it anyway. So do it anyway. What I'm suggesting is you accept 
that it's going to be uncomfortable and that you're okay with being uncomfortable. Um, it's unpleasant sometimes. They're scary. They're vulnerable. They're uh, what we call out on the skinny limbs. We're risking stuff. We're out in where where stuff is um, uh, can be very, very scary. Um, some of our core beliefs, some of our core fear and anger and sadness, it, it's really uncomfortable. And I don't want to make a big, well, I guess I'm, I'm making a big deal out of it because it's really, really important that um, that we accept that our emotions are weird and they're, uh, they're strange and they're mushy and they're, they, they don't always feel good, but they still are good. It's not, we don't have bad emotions. There aren't some that we like, okay, don't ever feel that. I, what I think is the most important thing in emotional intelligence is being able to have access to all of our feelings. All I want it, I want to have all my feelings, fear, anger, sad, guilt, shame, depression, uh, all that stuff, anxiety, tension. I want to be able to, to experience those, to understand them. They're me. They're my body talking to me. Their their emotions are um, our information that's given to us by our body if we listen. If we listen to them, and we can do some amazing things with it if we listen to them first, right? Which is awareness and acceptance. We can do some cool stuff with them. But if we ignore them, if we deny them, if we don't accept them, that kind of thing, it's probably not going to go well. So um, so I want to make it clear that that it's going to be uncomfortable and i'm hoping that that's okay with you i really do um hope it's going to be okay with you <laughs> um um okay here's another one the more we know the more we can risk the more we know the more we can risk oh sorry lee did you have a question you can unmute yourself no i just had a, a comment an observation about about emotions that you may believe or you may be telling yourself something that isn't necessarily true you're yeah. yeah you're constructing your point of view you're making that and um people with a different story, point of view right? might see it differently and you're responsible for that that's your and if you can spot where that point of view comes from then you have more freedom to choose mm. right on. so it it has to do i mean you might have can i give an example is that okay sure let's yeah, sure. let's say you're afraid of dogs and you're afraid of dogs because a dog bit you when you were a kid all right so you think dogs are bad well dogs aren't necessarily bad it's just that you had right. a bad experience and seeing that objectively is a way out of being a slave to your past traumas and experiences. So you can, you nice. can go through something nice. terrible and then still have, you know, wipe it clean, wipe it so that you can be healthy and approach it in a neutral way. Nice. Does Good that point. make sense? Um, yeah, it does. And and the, the other thing that you said is not only accepting that um, that that um, it, make it more approachable is to make it more specific. We talked about that a little bit yesterday too. All dogs are not bad. That dog is dangerous. That is probably true and wise and smart. And you can be afraid of that dog if you want to because you have experience with it. Each situation but, is unique. But not all dogs are dangerous. That's that's a generalization. And I like this term. Most generalizations are, no, all generalizations are wrong. <laughs> all generalizations are wrong, right? It's a comedy thing, but it's it's kind of <clears throat> true. Almost, almost, almost. So. How do you like this? Uh, I got, I was just laughing because I was trying to, I've got some light on me and I was trying to move around, but it's the sun coming through the trees right there. And it's kind of illuminating. I'm like, oh, so this is uh, encouraging me. <laughs> That's great. Like my higher self is talking to me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty neat. <laughs> I can't get away from it. I don't want to get away from it, I guess. So, okay. So um acceptance we're talking about things to accept accept that our body feels what it feels our body feels what it feels it does um yeah uh Sunil kumar we should not generalize based on our experiences right we well 
sometimes we can we can expand it a little bit and say you know be careful of dogs i'm now have a little i'm more more not afraid of them but more wary more there's a difference between worry and concern right worry and concern worry is like oh no any dog oh my goodness right and generalize and get it really get yourself all worked up versus okay i'm going to be concerned about this i'm going to be smart about it i'm going to be aware and i'm going to be um and i'm going to be cautious right we can do all that without going oh i'm afraid of dogs oh because that makes this huge uh, generalization and uh, makes the motions dramatic. I, um, that's another one of my pet peeves is drama. Drama is manufactured uh, emotions, manufactured uh, expanded emotions to make something really huge when it doesn't need to be that huge. Um, and so it's making things more specific is very helpful in that regard. So um, we cannot generalize based on our experience. We can. I don't suggest. We, we, we would be prejudiced about uh, uh, certain things, forthcoming things. Yep. 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 Um, so here's another one. Except that the more we know, the more we can risk. Yes. The more exactly we. And, yep. And not just know, but. No. The more we, the better we can handle our negative emotions. This is my opinion, or this is my concept of the of how this works. Is that the better we can handle our negative emotions, in particular, the more um, out there we can be. The more we can connect with people. The more that we can be ourselves. The more we can do this. What I'm doing here and jumping up and down about stuff. Because if it doesn't go well. I can handle it. I know I can handle it because I can handle my negative emotions. So that means I can be more loving. I can open my heart more. I can have more fun. I can be silly. I can not be all worried about what other people think of me because if it doesn't go well, I can handle it. And so um, to me, that's one of the big acceptances is that I can, the more I know about myself and about my emotions, the more I can risk and be and, and live a wonderful life. So that's a big deal to me. That was a life changer for me as well, because like I said, I used to be real quiet and shut down kind of thing. And I didn't want, I didn't want to be seen. I didn't want to rock the boat. I didn't want to make too much noise. And now I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff to say. I need to be seen. I need to, I need to be out there. And sometimes it's not going to go well. Sometimes I'm going to have negative emotions. Okay. That's okay with me. I accept them. I accept the, the risk or the, or the whatever the, yeah, I accept it. So um, accept that our body feels what it feels. We may not be able to control our feelings. I, we've had arguments about this before many times with people. Can you control your feelings? Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Can you control your, your feelings or can you manage them and, and um, have effect on them? Which one or both? Can you do both? I, I think you can, Matt, I, I think yeah. you can practice um, relaxing. You can, okay. you can you can practice resisting um, being out of control because it, uh. you know if you like use a breathing exercise or you meditate or you go for a walk when you're stressed out or kind of technique you might use if you practice yeah. that you train your body and your nervous system to be new the uh, effect of the and but it takes practice it's not like it happens over work at that and um, your your system will respond if your practice is good and sincere and it, it doesn't have to be a particular technique some people yeah. um, their fingers some people tap some people walk some people meditate some people exercise it's it's what it is for you what it means to you not yeah. not necessarily right a on. universal right. um uh, sh shall i add okay. something man sir yeah go ahead yeah this is a thing Good exactly point. i shared with our jinsi madam in our breakout room 
today morning i consciously tried to control my emotions and feeling they were embarrassed and they were surprised so if you are doing it consciously now i feel that right. some change can occur in our uh, the partners or the uh, associates today i have felt it that's why i in the break room i shared with my, our jinji madam thank you uh, nice nice very good so yeah. lee back to your These... comment um is is i think you can control your breathing we can control whether yeah. we go on a walk or not we can control our body and tell it to do stuff but the the whether what it feels as a result of the breathing or what it feels as a result of the walking i'm not sure we have that much control over that we can affect it very definitely but i'm not sure we can control it what do you guys think what do you think um well if if you've had some kind of trauma yeah. they they say that it's stored in your body it's stored yeah. in your nervous system and uh releasing the rise in chemicals or the rise in emotions to that trauma is automatic at first right it's it's not something that you you know you you went through an experience like let's say you almost drowned you see you fall out of a rowboat and you panicking okay that makes sense right your body says ah! um but if you learn how to swim and you've trained yourself to think oh i can swim now i'm okay then the the and and if you do it on dry land and you think about it then you can reduce the effect of the trauma there's not an automatic right. connection between yeah uh near drowning and right. your yeah. perception of water does that make sense okay it does it still it's about you can control your body but of what its movements and such like that but it's much harder to control your feelings to control them we can affect we can have a massive effect on them but i i contend that it's hard to control them uh, quote unquote and it's it's just an argument of wording it's a semantic thing but still uh, i think it's important um we certainly can't control other people's thoughts and feelings right we can yeah. we can't control their thoughts and feelings we can't um we can accept those we can also accept that if our thoughts and feelings are important to us that maybe maybe uh, they're important to them too maybe they're important to them too and if you want to have better relationships actually be concerned about and listen to and have empathy for and have compassion for other people's thoughts and feelings and spend some time listening to them just listening um what uh this empathy compassion soul soul is uh, my little thing that um it stands for stop open up and listen s o u l stop open up and listen that and the other word for s is shut up <laughs> that's what i used to say somebody said oh you should say stop instead but all right anyway you get the idea it's about really listening to people you stop what you're doing open your heart that's one of the big eq skills is how much we open our heart and how much we close our heart right so you open you be quiet for a minute open your heart and listen to them and people love that you want to be important to people you want to have people like being around you listen to them <laughs> listen to them well, ask them a question I, how are you doing and listen to the answer <laughs> and actually listen and care and ask questions and dig a little deeper and that kind of thing and people like that very much and they make that very much if you can and be safe to someone, to someone else, else emotionally safe to someone else you go up in their priority level quickly and dramatically you become very important person to them because you're a safe place and that is a beautiful thing that's something you can't make them safe but you can create a safe place for them to open up and ask them you can even ask them open up a little bit bring it out a little bit i'm here for you i'm not going to judge you i'm not um i'm not going to reject you i'm going to i might not like what you're saying but i can accept what you're saying even if i don't like it and i can shut up about not liking it actually right we don't have to share that information so again my point is 
stop, open your heart and listen to people. And they like that. And they like it very much. It helped your relationship very much. Try it. <laughs> Um, this is a little tacky, uh, relieving emotions is like going to the bathroom. I mentioned that yesterday. My wife hates when I use that analogy, but it's really true. It's really true. Our, our emotions are in our body. They want to come out the negative ones. They want to come out and we stop them. We stop them. Do you, when you have to go, when you have to go to the bathroom, do you go, Oh, should I, Oh, I don't know if this is right. I, is this, Oh, how do my parents do it? You know, is this socially acceptable? Is it, you know, do we go through all that turmoil? Hopefully not too bad or else I hopefully not. You just go, you go to the appropriate place and you express it in the appropriate way. Just like our emotions, we express them in its appropriate way in the right place at the right time and the right amount. And then we let them go and our body goes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's not as obvious because we can't see them. We can't see the results, <laughs> but they're there. They're there. We have to trust that, I guess. So um, so let's see what else. I, I threw these in here. I was going to do one slide on each one, but I didn't get around to it. Uh, darn it. Just a second. There it is. All right. Um, let's see. What else? Um, what? What? Did somebody want to say? Matt, sir? sir? Yeah, go ahead. Control is for self Emotion can what? I'm sorry. Again, it is a good self defense method. Let's say it again, please. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Say it again. I just didn't understand. Could you repeat sir, what the, you said, please? But the emotion control is. May I can talk something, sir? Emotion control is really a self protection and it is a good self defense method. Am I right, sir? Yeah. I heard self protection, that's for sure. Yes, definitely. Right. Do you want to maybe right. put, put it in the chat what you're saying? I'm, I was having trouble understanding. Maybe you could write it in Matt, the chat. Yeah. I, I think he said that uh, emotions are self-protection. It's like a warning system. And if is that right, caller? If if I'm understanding him correctly, okay. an emotion gives you information. And if you feel unsafe in a situation, you could be that it could be correct that you're not in a good area neighborhood or whatever yeah. um yeah. and that you should pay attention to your emotion intuition yep um yeah and it's so like the like the dog time. example your example with the dog all right that dog i want to next time i go around that dog i want to be more aware and i'm gonna and my or my fear comes up and that's a good thing I go, okay, thank you for letting me know. Thanks for warning me. I will take I will take that into account and uh, check this out. Um, I, Cause I'm, this is, uh, so I've been afraid of a lot of stuff my whole life, a lot. And I still am afraid of a lot of things. And so my fear and I have gotten to be pretty good friends, but I go, I go, um, when I get, when the fear comes up, I go up oh, awareness, acceptance, and then I go, okay, I hear you. I understand that I'm in a, I'm in a scary position here. I um, thank you for notifying me. And now you can calm down a little bit. Now I'm talking, this is me talking to my fear, which is pretty bizarre. It's me talking to my fear saying, okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Now you can settle down a little bit so I can go do what I need to do, uh, right? So we can actually talk to our fear and listen to it and um, acknowledge it that's what it wants and then it can relax then it can yeah. relax if you don't pay attention to it it gets sometimes it gets bigger or it stays and um so so as you as you're afraid of things then we hear them we acknowledge them awareness acceptance and then okay i'm going to take this action and so you can relax and it works it works well for me it's kind of bizarre but we can it works. perceive we can perceive more you're conscious of and um you, you might notice someone's expression in that is very quick like a micro expression 
and the micro mm. expression might be a sneer or disdain on their face or like ha ha i'm lying to you whatever and um you can i think people pick it up but they can't they can't say what they've picked up they don't know exactly what happened they just feel it hmm. okay okay um um let's see here's another one is that uh, we don't really know our light our right brain that well so we are spending some time learning about it right now which is very cool um we have been given negative role models our whole lives another thing to accept that what is what when i feel like reacting to a situation based on a lot of times based on um my experiences this is what um uh, Sunil Kamir was talking about earlier, I think, is that if we react based on our experiences, then we need to know, we need to accept that that is based on stuff from our past and that it may not be relevant in the future. It may not be the best way to go in the in the present or the future. It may not be the best way. And so if we can know that we have our thoughts and our feelings and our memories and our uh, the pictures in our head and the sounds in in our head and stuff is affecting us then we can decide if we want to go with that or we want to go with something different right so we again are in charge by noticing and accepting that our past is is still affects us in a lot of ways if you go around that dog again and it, and it really scared you the first time you're going to feel a bunch of stuff and that's your body telling you and that's a good thing now you get to decide what you're going to do about it and with it cool stuff right so, and then my last one is that we're pretty clueless. And this is my word. Uh, a friend of mine got me a sign. I should have it up ahead, behind me. Um, it looks like a street sign. And it says clueless court, clueless court. Cause that's where I lived. <laughs> that's where I lived. Uh, I didn't have no idea what was going on. And I'm trying to get a clue right now. In fact, I got a thing of um, get a clue, get a grip, get a life. <laughs> <laughs> get a clue get a grip get a life i like that one um so here i'll put it in the chat i like that one and i didn't um write it down get a clue the other day i said that just at a joking um in one of the workshops i was doing and people were like that's great that was a that was some people said two different people said that was the best thing that from the, in the whole workshop so i'm gonna uh <laughs> i know um <laughs> uh, grip there it is get a clue, get a grip, get a life. So I was laughing. I mean, I was kidding when I wrote this, but I wrote it long time ago and I was like, Hey, that's not bad. That's actually, that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Get a clue means, okay. Awareness and acceptance. Get a grip means, all right, I can do this. I'm, I know how to do it now. I'm going to do it different and you, then get a life is my results. Are, all that. So. I'm sorry. I didn't hear Okay, so I'm going to go on finally. All right, so anything else? Um, any other ideas on, on what we can accept or what we need to accept? Um, as you think of things, go ahead and put them in the chat or let me know or let me know. Okay, um, so, so here's some cool quotes that I found on it. Whether it's riding a bike, writing a book, or cooking a meal, you get to decide if it's a chore or a chance something to overcome or something to embrace. That's pretty cool. Just like, is it a have to or a want to? I get to choose. And this is saying you get to decide. That's a very cool thing. Andrea Lee is one of my favorite uh, coaches. Um, long, long, long time. Um, very, very wise lady. So if you want look her up. Um, thoughts become things. Another thing that we need to accept is that our thoughts become things eventually. Um, Emotional pain is not terminal. This is one of Doc's quotes. Emotional pain is not terminal. We are not going to die from feeling stuff. So like I was saying, uh, how uncomfortable it is sometimes. It's okay. It's going to be okay. You're going to live through it. Even if it's your core stuff from your childhood and it feels like you're not, you are, <laughs> you are. Uh, your emotional pain is not terminal. You're not going to die from this. It's just uncomfortable and you will get through it. Feel it to heal it. One of my favorites, um, again, uh, based on what uh, Doc's quote, and I love this one. This was another life changer for me. 
and um, one of the bases of all of this work, feelings expressed as deeply as they are felt in the body will reduce in intensity and are free to change, right? Feelings expressed as deeply as they're felt in the body will reduce in intensity and are free to change. In other words, feel it to heal it. If you want to let stuff go that's in your body, let yourself feel it as intensely as you feel it. Sometimes it just, ah, and you let yourself feel it, just allow it, just allow it. It's a letting, allowing thing. It's an acceptance thing. And we, once we can, once we allow stuff, then it, it goes away. Your body goes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay. Um, Bellwinder said, what will happen if I'm unable to work on my emotions, feelings, because I cannot face them. I wanted to run away from them. I want to suppress them and never feel them. All right. Want to deal with them. All right. Well, well, <laughs> sorry. Um, I, you can say, okay, skip the, I cannot face them. Cause that's not true. You can, you may choose not to, but you can, you can. Okay. So don't, it can, can and can't is like have to and want to, I can't, People tell themselves all the time, all this stuff they can't do. And it's one, another one of my pet peeves. It's not, you're not saying I can't say I won't. Now that's a different story. If you don't want to deal with your stuff, don't, but that's up to you. But if you, if you say I can't, then you're a victim and then you're broken and you're not whole and you've got to, you know, and all this stuff, something might be wrong with you. All that can't stuff. No, you, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, or I'm not going to yet is even better. I, that puts me in charge. That puts me in charge. I am not, I won't. Okay. I choose not to. Okay, great. That's your choice, right? That puts you in control, right? Being saying I can't doesn't. So that's one thing. Um, uh, you want to suppress them. You want to run away from them. Yeah. I, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I do too. I do too. Especially at first. Wow. I wanted to so bad and everybody else does. And, and <laughs> it's, is a tough one because, um, what uh, we're I, selling I, here, I, what I'm selling here, is sometimes the most uncomfortable stuff in the on the planet. Sir. It's it's what people have been spending their entire life trying not to feel. They're trying not to feel, and here I am saying I think you should feel it ha as much as you can. Not not to run away from it. Not to when we when somebody starts crying. I don't say, oh, I no, it's okay, too, or you don't cry, or it's it's going to be all right, or any of that stuff. I go, great, good job, keep going, keep going. If you're crying, let yourself keep crying. You, it's what else, not not stop, but what else? What else are you sad about? Where is the sadness in your body? Once you get there, that's the uncomfortable part is get in there. Once you get there, then stay there, stay there and clean it out. Get it all out of you. Get it all out of you. For me, it's my heart. I go down. I picture myself going down in my head, going down in, down in my throat and down into my heart, actually into my heart. And man, I can just burst out crying every time if I do that. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm choosing not to do it right now. But if I did that, I could go right down into my heart and I start crying. And when I do that, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about it. I, that's one thing is I'm happy about it. I go, all right, good job. Cause I didn't used to be able to do that. And then while I'm in there, while I'm crying, I already got the tissues out. I already got the tissues out. I'm already making a mess. I might as well just keep on crying. Well, what else? And I ask myself, what else are you sad about? What else is in there that needs to come out and I allow myself to feel this stuff? And, and my body is so thankful afterward. And it can just take a couple minutes, just a couple of minutes. But and it's really uncomfortable. It is. You want to run. You want to avoid it. You want to not all that stuff. Skip all those thoughts. All those thoughts go through. Just let them go through. I, I don't want to I don't, la, 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 la. let them go on through and keep crying and stick to what, what's going on. And you can allow yourself to um, to make some huge progress, in my opinion. I, that's what I've been. That's what I try to do. So um, if they say uh, uh, warning, this may trigger. And in our workshops, we go, this is going to trigger. That's the point. In fact, let's talk about what triggers you. And so we can go there on purpose because that's the stuff we're working on. Not, not what doesn't trigger you. We want to know what triggers you so that you can get that out of you. So it doesn't trigger you anymore. Theoretically, it can be done actually. Um, and so, so we're going for the feeling. So I don't know if that answers your question about Winder, but, um, but 
sorry that you want to run away from them. Do it anyway. <laughs> do it anyway. In my opinion, that's my best advice. Do it anyway. What do you think? I will say it's not right time to deal with them, but I will deal okay. with them when the right okay. time will kick okay. in. Yeah, great, great. So do you see the difference between I can't and I won't and not right now? Big difference. Yes, huh? I do. Yes, I do see the difference and right. I do see my mistake. Yeah. I do see my ignorance, how I used to general make generalization about men. Ah, because nice. I went nice. Through, Good job. Oh, I, I went nice. through I went through divorce at age of 22. I was born in India. Then at age of 26, I went to second divorce. My whole life was full of trauma, trauma, trauma. Then mental illness, yeah. then another trauma is full of trauma. Then my mind accepted all men in this world are bad. I wanted oh. to run away from men, well, but it was not true. It was not true because my dad is a man, my son is a man, my brothers are men. They are not, but my mind accepted that at age of 26 and 22 that men are bad because they love cheating yeah. their wives. They love yeah. to hang on yeah. with their girlfriend. Okay. So it's pretty, it's pretty deep. Okay. So you're noticing. Good job. So you're noticing the generalization, right? And noticing that, um, that it's incorrect. <laughs> some of them are, some of them are, I guarantee it. I, I'm very, I had that same thought, by the way, I had that same belief that men were, are idiots. <laughs> there were, I have lots of judgments about men more than women actually. Um, and that's tough because I are one as far as I know. And so um, it's, it's a tough one. And I, but I, I agree with you. Um, but I also agree with you and congratulations on realizing that it's not all men, it's some men and maybe even a lot of men, maybe even most men doesn't matter. It's still not all of them. It's still not but, all of them. Right. But, and, but at age of 22 and 26, yeah. you do not have life experience, real life experience, and you do not have all okay. this wisdom. I'm 55 now. Okay. I'm, I'm learning now. So look at the gap. Okay. How big difference is it? Okay. You do not have okay. understanding. You are in darkness when you get married at I, age of 22 and 26. Right. Okay. So can you, will you forgive yourself for being 22 and 26 and not having all the information you have now? Is that I mean, you, you, you've you got 40 years in there. Can you forgive yourself for that? Uh, uh, I will say- Something to I work on. Different, Something to work on. <laughs> yeah, I use a different distraction strategies to run away from this drama. And I never took time to dig deeper and to listen to those painful and sad feelings. They're all- buried in my okay. in my body okay but you didn't but you don't know until you know you know right you don't know until you know and now you know and so and there you didn't before you didn't so can you do you want to be upset with yourself for that or do you want to have some empathy and compassion for younger you younger you and say wow <laughs> wow <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry no 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 I am forgiving. I'm forgiving that 22 year old beautiful girl and 26 year old beautiful Good. girl who went through two divorces right. and still survive. Yeah. Yep. And she living in this world. She was doing the best she could at the time with what she knows, right? I did. Yep. I did yep. what I could yep. with that type of understanding. Yep. Great. Good. Good thought. Good thought. And, so, I, was born, again, and um, I was so I was born in India and I came here yeah. at age of 20, 23, 23. And since then I'm living here. So I even though I was living here, but I still in my family, I was following same culture, same tradition, same narrow minded lifestyle from India. 
Well, I'm just writing in the chat. Um, the we do the best we can with what we know. The more we know, the better our best can be. Right. So yes, that's why we're here true. learning more. That's why we're learning about emotions because we didn't know anything about them before, and now we're learning about them. So it, we didn't know before. We don't know. If you don't know, you don't know. So now I'm becoming. You can be upset about it if more, you want to. More, more aware. Go ahead. More aware. Why I get sick Good. very easily. Great. 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 So you can also you can um, 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 learn from that and say, okay, I didn't, I was not aware because I didn't hang around with people that talked about emotions and I didn't take classes on them and I didn't, I didn't do all this stuff. So I wasn't aware. Now that I am, I realize how to fix that or how to change that. And so I'm spinning it and I'm doing it different and I'm not going to be as unaware as I was when I was 22. So good job. That's a good job. Thank all you. Right. So uh, the other thing that I that I heard from what you're saying is, shall uh, I add one more thing? Have thoughts. And sir, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, one sentence go I ahead. read. I am not okay. You are not okay. Yeah. That's, and that's okay. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's that, okay. <laughs> that is the point I uh, want to explain. Because okay. being in a supervisory position, I know that Eric Benz. I am okay. You are okay is the best thing. But uh, uh, having working in a supervisory position or managerial position, many times we have to play a role that even though they are okay, we have to show that they are not okay. That is a practical yeah. thing. I don't know uh, internationally how it is, but uh, here it is like. But your uh, point is, I am not okay. You are not okay. And that is okay. That needs explanation, okay. sir. One more thing, uh, <laughs> Madam Joginder Singh has told. One yeah. sentence I want to honorably uh, back to differ. Even though I am from India, I am not that narrow-mindedly. That sent that word. Okay, uh, just just for the uh, uh, thoughts of others. Anyway, I am focusing on this. Thing. I am okay. You are not okay. Is not always practically possible as a uh, supervisory. Uh, I am a chief yeah. manager. So being in a, a supervisory position in a public sector, always I am okay. You are okay. Will not do productive output. Over yeah. to you, Matisse. Yep. Good, great. Good, good point. And yeah, thanks for saying that. That's good. All right. Um, yeah, most people try to look like they're okay, even when they're not okay. And that's what that's the point is that if you're not okay, that's okay. Sometimes, sometimes it's not okay. But usually if in me, it's okay. So I like this one. Only as high, um, only as high as I reach, can I grow? Only as far as I seek, can I go? Only as deep as I look, can I see? Only as much as I dream, can can I be? I like that. Um, so I don't know if that's exactly acceptance, but I guess so. Um, and then Wayne Dyer, I don't know if you guys know who Wayne Dyer was. He's a very famous um, personal growth uh, author, one of, the, one of the top personal growth authors. Um, he passed away not too long ago, unfortunately, but he said that the number one um, indicator of personal growth is that you can take things ex how they are. It is how it is is exactly as it is if you can identify like like uh bellwinder's example uh, this is going to be really uncomfortable i've got if i want to go back and deal with this stuff it's going to be really uncomfortable yep <laughs> yes yes it is how it is exactly how it is and i'm going to have thoughts like i don't want to do this i don't want to go here this is drag this is no fun i'm going to do something else you can have all those thoughts and let them go and just let them pass on by while you're having them and still stick with what you're doing. Still stick with what you're doing because our thoughts. We don't have to. Um, we don't have to grab onto each one. We don't. We can just let them go on by. It's kind of like um, um, the water in the ocean. The waves. They just keep coming. They keep coming, and they keep coming. If we are a surfer, though, sometimes we want to jump up and surf some of the one of them. We got to pick one, right? And so 
these what these thoughts that are just going on by going on by we can we get to choose which ones we want to surf <laughs> i guess is the point to that and uh i, I, I kind of like that analogy as well because they keep coming we keep we and what i was we were saying earlier we can control our body and tell it to do certain things i can say put my arm up and it does it i can say um breathe in breathe out i can control myself that way right your thoughts and feelings ah, nah. <laughs> sometimes they just come a lot of times they just come whether you try and control them or not so so all right so there's some quotes on all right we're going on um eq is the tools we're going for peace you guys we're going for peace i mentioned this earlier but um, I really wanted to go into it because inner peace is about acceptance. And um, so this is the point of our nonprofit. This is kind of a point of my life in a way at this point. Um, world peace begins with inner peace. And hit, note, note, Bill, it, it, inner peace begins with emotional intelligence. So that's why we're doing this. Um, so the Dalai Lama said, through inner peace, genuine world peace is possible, is it can be achieved. That's a big deal. It can be achieved. A lot of people don't think world peace is possible. I don't know if it is or not. We're going to find out. We're going to give it a try anyway. <laughs> we, we are giving it a try anyway. And I don't know if it's possible or not. We'll see. He says it can be achieved through inner peace. Peace must first be created in ourselves then gradually expanded to include our families, our communities, and ultimately our whole planet, which means it starts with us. It starts with us. It starts with inner peace. That's, uh, that's on us. That's on us. Um, and so we, uh, that's why we're doing this. And that's where we're going with this. Uh, in the chat, we have Jinsey said, um, possible um, if we make them aware of the things. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, possible. You wrote it while we were talking. So I had the context before, but now I don't. What's possible if we make them aware of things? Uh, empty vessel can't serve others. When we have peace inside, we can fill this world with peace. All right. All right. Nice. Nice statement. All right. I'm going to keep that one. That's good. Um, we have peace. Uh, when we have peace inside, we can fill the world. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We. It's kind of on us to start and as an example and to be peaceful and to... Um, manage our conflicts and manage our judgments of other people and our disconnect from other people that kind of thing is all stuff that we can do if we are aware of our thoughts and our feelings and we have some inner peace going on as we can be wonderful humans <laughs> better humans than we've been um so acceptance is other, other peace so um so inner peace we're talking about inner peace now for the next couple minutes let's talk about inner peace so if you would put in your chat what do you, where where are you in the inner peace range one being not peaceful at all 10 being um you know you're like you've been meditating for an hour and you're just as calm as can be so one through ten where would you rate your inner peace right now go ahead and put it in the chat if you would eight okay good 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 Nice. Who else? One through 10. Where are you in your inner peace? Nine. Nice. 10. Wow. Nice. Seven. Okay. A couple more. Looks like we're mostly pretty good. Yeah. Mostly pretty good. All right. All right. Seven through nine, 10. Great. Good, good. Well, all right. I guess I'm not um, pissing you guys off too much. <laughs> <laughs> you got you're doing okay so far it's sitting in the workshop with me so that's good i'm happy about that and you're pretty calm and you're pretty okay with most things that are going on right this minute um you know we might have big problems in the world but right this minute and this is another eq thing right this minute how's things going right this second how many problems do you have right this second not too many right not too many hopefully so um so we can be calm ourselves right this minute we might have things we need to work on we might have things we're gonna have to do but right this second i'm okay i'm okay so good job that's thanks for sharing that appreciate it so emotional intelligence leads to inner peace which could lead to to big peace um um, um i'm gonna read back in the chat how long will it take for me 
to deal with my five traumas, two divorces, dates, then mental health problem, hospitalization, financial loss, and finally, wow. Um, how long will it take um, the rest of your life? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I've got traumas from my life in there. What happens with trauma, in my opinion, and in my experience, and with a lot of other people, is that it's like an onion and we kept, we start, we, we deal with the outside. We deal with it a little bit. We deal with some things, the most obvious things about it. As we deal with them, we start digging deeper. Okay. Well, not only did you get mad at men at age 22 or 26, did you get mad at men, but also you started maybe um, getting down on yourself and having left less confidence. And maybe you also stopped trusting and also you closed your heart up, you know, all kinds of stuff like this, that, um, that each one of those, uh, each one of the things of onion needs to layers needs to be dealt with sometimes, and it gets deeper and deeper. And um, sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes it doesn't take that long, but sometimes with real heavy things like your divorce has probably, you know, rocked your world, it's going to take a while. So don't plan on it being a quick fix, probably. Um, plan on this being something that you do work on the rest of your life. I'm going to work on my past so that I can learn as much as I can from that. I can get stuff cleaned up in my path, past so that I can live completely cleanly and purely in the present. And I can create the future that I want for myself and those I love. Right? We deal with our past, live in the present create our best path our future as we can three different uh time frames so so how long will it take a while <laughs> and you're just getting started so it's going to be a while so if you could be okay with that you'd be okay with it being uncomfortable you'd be okay with it being new lifelong uh um, side job <laughs> for you um it's very painful i don't want to deal with it okay well those are your thoughts all right. I don't want to. This is painful. This is a drag. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm going to have a temper tantrum. I don't want to. I don't want to. You can do that if you want to. And then go deal with it anyway. <laughs> so go ahead and stop your feet and yell and, ah, and have a fit. And then go deal with it anyway. <laughs> I suggest. I suggest. All right. And what are the consequences? Well, you know, the consequences are that you will keep doing what you've been doing. That's the worst consequences. You'll keep doing what you've been doing. Is that horrible? Is that awful? Is that end of the world? Probably not. You all right? You you know you. The people say I can't do this, this any longer. Sure you can. You can. <laughs> you may not want to. It may not be a good idea, but you can because you've been doing it. So you can do it. You may not want to, but you can. <laughs> so don't tell yourself that. Um, and and um, anyway, so it can it can take a while. It could take a while. And the consequences, you're probably not going to get worse. You might, I doubt it. You're probably not <laughs> going to get worse, right? You may be, but probably the worst case is you're going to stay the same. So if you're okay with that, then okay. You know, I'm going to stay the same this week. All right. That's fine. So, all right. So good questions. Thank you for sharing. Um, there, is, um, there are different types of success. Emotional success is called inner peace. <laughs> I read when I, this hit me, I just was laughing about it because I thought this is just great. It's really right. How there's different ways to be. I can be financially successful, spiritually successful. I can be successful in my job. I can be successful in my relationships, but, but successful emotionally. What's the success? Inner peace. <laughs> That's where we're going with this. That's success. If you can find it and you, you guys already are doing, you know, between seven and 10, you're pretty darn close. You're pretty close to being successful emotionally if you can kind of keep with that um you'll be fantastic i mean that that's I'm, i'd be happy with seven through ten for the rest of my life that'd be pretty cool uh sometimes sometimes it goes down sometimes i'm not very peaceful but oh here's another one here's another one can you feel strong negative emotion can you be really really angry or really really hurt and crying or really sad and still peaceful at the same time does mean does having a negative emotion mean you're not peaceful? Hmm. Can we feel strongly negative? Can we feel strongly and still be peaceful at the same time? Can we? Anybody? No, we cannot because negativity <laughs> uh, negativity subs subsidizes everything. 
uh, our inner peace our success everything so uh, once we have negative we have to reframe it in such a way that it should be turned to the positive side suppose uh, if i have some relationship issue with someone so i have to think maybe they will have some problem some some issue might have happened with their life that is why they are reacting in that so we have to forgive we have to accept it we have to forgive so that we can first peace within ourselves then we can peace with the most so that relationship will be bonded and we don't feel guilt or we don't feel angry towards them. okay okay i i hear you um i um Hello, uh, I, a- i believe i like to tell myself that i can be i can have a peace and still be upset at the same time because they're just emotions they're thoughts they're they're my body's reaction to it but i am at peace with them being that way i'm okay with with the stuff that i'm sad angry and mad about or mad glad sad or whatever it is sir shall i share my experience i'm sorry say it again shall i spare um, uh, share my experience hello i didn't understand i'm sorry okay emotional success is called inner peace shall i spare okay. my experience Um, yeah, uh, I, I yeah, hear you, yeah. but I don't. I can't understand the words. I'm sorry. Can you put Emotional it in the chat? Emotional success or? is called inner peace. I keep, uh, want to tell one experience. Emotional success is called inner peace. We want to uh, say one experience. You want to share an experience? Okay. Uh, is uh. that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Great. Go ahead. Go for it. Sir, uh, two years back. i am now 55 2 years back i was in kerala my native place working 30 years suddenly i was selected for a project in orissa now i am calling uh, directly from odisha is a northeast state in india suddenly i got emotionally upset okay but yep. ultimately i have three uh, uh, objectives with me we can join it or we have got a sabbatical leave with uh, no we have the lien in the company with no uh, payment but we have a stake in the company or we can resign yep in the family Actually, we discussed yep. i have discussed in the, uh, our platform uh, uh, three options i have one is to resign one is to go for a uh, sabbatical leave with no income third i have to join so we have to emotionally balance it whatever be the options i take i have to come with odisha which is uh, around uh 2000 kilometers from my native place no. but i okay. just uh, opted one option anyway how to join let us wait for one or two three months because our resignation is three months march uh, 2020 march i have been transferred without knowing the uh, uh, future events i told that any three options i have to take i have to go and join odisha i told the uh, my family if you want me there or i want uh, you here you will be uh, i will be taking the two options anyway in in, in short covid has helped us and emotional success we have made still that is a inner peace thank you okay i think i 
I understand most of it. Um, so you had three options. You, um, your job changed and you had three options and you're deciding what to do, right? Okay, so those are what do you do? Those are all, what do you do about a problem? And you, you take these actions about a problem that you had and you were yes, trying yes, to- Yes, exactly. Get, get after, the after 15 days, the COVID has erupted and there was a lockdown, everything. Neither I can go to Kerala or they can come to Odisha. So we were forced to accept the reality. Okay. Even now, okay. I am staying in Odisha because of that emotions. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Yep. And and what I wanted to, to just show the difference between what you did about the problem and that it affects your emotions, but what are you going to do with it? If you had to stay, if you need to go, if whatever, whatever the reality is, what do you do with those thoughts and feelings inside of you? Not what do you do about it, but what do you do with it inside of you? And, um, and of course, what you do, your, what action you take is going to affect your thoughts and feelings. Um, but still, there's, it's, we got to take those into account as well. Your thoughts are going to affect your actions. Your actions are going to affect your thoughts and your feelings, and uh, it's cycle, cycle, cycle. So um, there's a there's a difference, and I'm asking you to be more aware of your thoughts and your feelings about it, not just your actions. All three thoughts, feelings, actions. We got all three that we need to take into account. So thank you for sharing. Good example. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so. Um, there's three different kinds of peace, four different kinds of peace, actually, um, that we're talking about. One is starts with us, inside us, inner peace inside of us. That's the one we have the most control over by far, by far. Um, secondly is uh, uh, between us, two of us, our, our relationship, um, Val Winder, you and your, your son, um, you, me, me and my wife, um, you know, cu your couples or whatever it is, whoever you're with, whoever your relationship is with we can have some peace between us. We can learn how to listen better. We can learn how to do conflict resolution. We can learn how to accept other people, all that kind of good stuff. And we can create better relation, personal relationships, interpersonal relationships one-on-one. -on -one. And then we can get along better as a group. As far as I know, we call it social peace. As far as I know, right now, we're all getting along <laughs> right this minute. As far as I know, we are doing social peace right this minute. Um, we're practicing it, so yay us, <laughs> right? Um, and so we can get along as a group, we can get along as a society, we can get along on our family and our teams and all that good stuff. And so it's one, two, three or more. And then hopefully, again, what I'm saying is uh, the point of this is that we, we believe that people don't know how to create peace in their life. They don't know how, we don't learn it in school. Nobody talks about it. We don't learn how to deal with our emotions. And so now we are, now we are, we're learning about it. Now we're trying to teach people peace education. There is ways to create peace inside and around us. And that's what we're trying to bring to the world. And if we need, and if enough people learn how to do that, maybe we'll have big peace someday, maybe, but we'll try and teach as many people as possible. In the meantime, our goal is a billion people by 2039, which is what, 17 years, we got to do a billion people to teach them what we're talking about right now. Um, and uh, we'll see, uh, we're, we're well on our way. We got 18, I think, <laughs> we're almost there. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're a little higher than that. But anyway, um, my goal is a billion by 2039 and everybody by 2050, everybody, why not, right? Why not, let's go for it, everybody. Um, so we're talking about global peace, we gotta teach everybody. Um, I like this one. Inner peace begins the moment you choose not to allow another person to control your emotions. You're in charge. You're in charge. So you want to get to uh, inner peace. Don't let them control your emotions. Don't think about it. Don't make it that they did this to me, that um, I can't help it. I can't stop it. Um, I can't. I all that all that yucky stuff. Don't do it. It's up to you. Go ahead, Valwinder. Do you have a question? Did you have a question? You had your ha uh, hand like that. I didn't know if that was a, your hand up or no. Okay. All right. So 
Um, we're in charge of what goes on inside of us. We're in charge. That doesn't mean we can control all of it. It just means that we are in charge. It means we can adjust it. We can spin it. We can we can think positively on purpose. We can direct our thoughts, right? We do it all day at work. We do it all day at school. We direct our thoughts. We think about stuff that we want, that we consciously want to think about, right? If we have a thought, we don't like it. We let it go through and we go, okay, I'm going to make this new thought and go with that one. So go ahead, Bowinder. Got to unmute. You got to unmute first. Sorry, sir. It's, it's not me. I think something is wrong. Okay. okay. So do you have something you wanted to share or ask? No? No, 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 sir. Okay. It's just by mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. No problem. No problem. All right. So um, here's a little thing, a side thing down at the bottom is that um, uh, one of the ways that I tried to learn as much as I can about people and about emotions is um, I help run uh, a bunch of Facebook and LinkedIn social media groups. Um, and I run like I, or I own or run like 12 of them and something like that, 13 of them right now. And there's a couple of them that are whoppers, though. Some of them are pretty amazing. This one in particular, um, I can if you take this permalink off, you can go to um, this is the biggest group I know of in the world. Uh, this is uh, Facebook. It's on Facebook. If you guys are Facebookers, I am too. Um, that's my favorite. So if you want to be friends on there, come find me and send me a friend request. Um, but this group is called, ready for this, Emotional Intelligence. Pretty clever, huh? That's the name of the group. And here is the link to it. And there are 280,000 people in this group super um active group you'll get they'll have, post something and you'll get you know 500 a thousand likes two thousand five thousand likes on something or comments on something and if and those are the ones i grab those the ones that are the most popular and i go oh that's good that's what's that's what people are listening or it's re it's um re responding they're responding to and so those are the ones i wanted i want to be sure about this one in particular was on there that's why there's a permalink on it um and it, it we um there was a lot of people like this one a lot of people so um so that's why i kept it and i put it in here um there's a linkedin there's a link a group on linkedin called the emotional intelligence network um it is has about 130,000 people in there um i'm also one of the moderators for that group um, there's some great stuff out there, you guys, that uh, that can be life changers, in my opinion. Um, ask questions or uh, read some of the stuff they're going through, like this one. Um, there's some stuff that it just seems like, oh, it's just some stupid quote. It's just a meme or whatever. But some of the stuff like this one, I think this can be a life changer. I think there are some of them that are like, wow, that I never thought of that before. It's a whole new idea. It's a whole new way to look at things. I'm, I'm going to start living that way. I'm going to change my life and start living that way. I, right. If we think that, um, that, um, they did it to us, that they're making me, you're making me angry. This makes me angry. This makes me afraid. This hurts my feeling. These, none of those are true. None of those are true. You do that. You don't, they don't hurt, make you angry. You make yourself angry with your thoughts, right? I have a, an angry thought about what happened, I'm then going to feel angry and that and go from there. That's still not them. They did what they did. It, they did what they did. It was my thought and my feeling that made me feel that way. That's all. That's all, right? They can, they're, they're going to do what they're going to do. I got to, I'm in charge of what goes on inside of me. So, so my thoughts, my feelings, um, nobody controls what I think or feel. I try to control what I think and feel. I can't always, but I manage it. So, um, okay. So do you guys agree? Um, well, let's talk about, oh, let's talk about inner peace for a minute. Let's talk about inner peace. Cause that's about accepting it. So what does anybody want to share? You can get on mute or put it in your, in the chat, either one, actually, you know what, let's do another breakout room. I'm sorry. Let's do another breakout room before we're done. So um, I'm going to stop sharing. And these are the questions that we're looking for is about inner peace. What does it look like? 
what does it sound like and what does it feel like right that's what we're looking for see if you can come up with some of those for yourself to so you have an idea um so you have an idea what uh where to go with it and how um um, how to recreate it, how to recreate it. It's always much, much easier to create something if we have an idea what the heck it looks like and feels like and sounds like, right? So if you get a good, clear picture of your inner peaceful place, then you can recreate it a lot easier. So let's give it a shot. Um, I'll give you six minutes and we're going to go into the rooms. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Inner peace. What does it feel like? What does it look like? What does it sound like? to you. Uh, Bell Winder, do you not want to join or you guys go in? There we go. Some people weren't assigned, so I assigned you. Off you go then. If you want to join the, a, a breakout room, you need to accept the invitation to join. I can't force you over there. It's a choice. Like so many things, it's a choice. Oh, oh, I thought I had 10 more minutes, but we're actually over time, aren't we? Sorry about that. Wasn't keeping track.
and if you didn't go in the breakout room, maybe you could answer those questions to yourself. What does inner peace look like for you? What does it feel like? Much easier to recreate it if you got an experience. Okay, they're coming back now. Hey everyone, hi, welcome back. Hey, I apologize, um, I would got the times mixed up and we're actually way over time, I apologize for that. Um, I thought I had five more minutes, but I uh, don't really, but I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take just, a, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna take just a few more minutes to sum up um, what what, uh, what we're what we're working on, if that's okay. Um, so, um, um, uh, just some recap from yesterday. To be your best, we got to handle our worst. Uh, emotions matter a lot. Um, what happens outside of, outside of us? Um, no matter what happens outside of us, we have the power to control what happens inside of us. Um, we are learning about things is our new learning and we are now becoming consciously incompetent and consciously competent which is a step forward so we don't beat on ourselves for not knowing what we didn't know before right um there's different parts of emotional intelligence um there's the three positive feelings we're shooting for the uh, joy peace and love we got in order to get there we need to deal with our fear anger and sadness um we emotional responsibility is the main part of this whole thing that there are our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, that sort of thing, our actions are ours, ours, ours. Um, we can get back to the positives by releasing our negatives. Um, we need to do both sides of our brain. Um, we Acceptance does not mean approval. We've talked about that a bunch today. Um, a recap of the seven questions yesterday of how to deal with our emotions, become aware, accept them, identify, express, release, replace, rejoice. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, and then um, we will be talking about actions tomorrow. We did acceptance today. We'll be talking more about actions tomorrow. Um, if you guys have some questions or some actions you want to take and maybe your emotions are stopping you or there's uh, you want to make a bold move or whatever, some action you want to talk about tomorrow, we can do that. Um, back to the takeaway, same from yesterday. Decide that your emotions matter and that you accept responsibility for them. Uh, release your negative emotions if you can and talk to somebody else about it T tell somebody else about it so so okay again i apologize for going so long um i messed up the times so i won't do it again yes tomorrow um and i sure appreciate you guys' involvement i'm sure you appreciate you being here um and uh, you're, you're a fun group so if you guys want to save the chat, I don't know if you know how to do that down in the bottom right over on the side, there's three buttons. You can hit more and then you hit save chat and it will save it in a text file on your computer automatically. It's pretty cool um, if you if you have any use for it. So just letting you know, that's a Zoom thing. 
so um i guess we need to go um any last minute anything anybody um you want the powerpoint from yesterday um we were going to Diane asked me to wait until tomorrow tomorrow i'll give you all three powerpoints and three all three recordings well i can give you two recordings i can't give you the third one while we're in it but we can um afterward i can it, i get it i get the link like 10 minutes after the after the zoom calls over so so i can get those for you tomorrow um excellent class all right thank you thank you sir <laughs> appreciate it thanks for the thanks you're welcome you're welcome all right Good. I was I hope it was helpful. Awareness and acceptance, and we'll do action tomorrow. All right. Thank you guys. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jen, sir, and the Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. Very fun. Nothing I'd rather be doing. <laughs> Bye.